Hi, Brandon Rowe at the 2018 Fan Expo. It's, it's been called a uh, Christmas for anyone that's a fan of pop culture and dressing up like their favorite characters. And you take a look around. It is uh, pretty busy right now, and there is so much for you to do. There is a lot of uh, swag being given out from video games to comic books to toys uh, from, you know, Mario to Game of Thrones. You can find anything you like, whether when it comes to pop culture, here at the Fan Expo, and there are a lot of people, and you got this right here. Check out that crazy costume. Now, uh, there's also stars here, and people are getting uh, autographs from some of their favorite stars. Uh, Rob Schneider is here. Edmonton, Alberta Zone. Michael J. Fox is just uh, back there. He's signing autographs with uh, some of the cast from Back to the Future, but I uh, like that girl with that, uh, I guess it was a zombie costume. That's one of the things that people love about the Expo, is uh, dressing up like their favorite cosplay, uh, uh, dressing up in cosplay, and there is a big uh, um, event coming up, big competition that is coming up later tonight. Now I spoke with some cosplayers to find out what goes into it and uh, why they dress up every year. I, I did it because my mom did it. I am a generational cosplayer. Uh, she taught me how to sew, and I love it, and now I do it for a living. I, I recreate historic gowns for museums. I went to college to do this, and honestly, if it wasn't for cosplay, I don't think I'd be as outgoing or successful as I am. This is a warlord from Ubisoft's For Honor. He's a, a turtle character in the game, according to some people. He's a counter character. I got a big shield, big sword. That was uh, handcrafted, 3D printed. The armor is all made of EVA foam. It's been covered in vinyl and uh, painted down to be a little more worn. And uh, yeah, it was about 400 hours worth of uh, for the work to get to where I am today. The helmet's EVA and it's all painted, salt chipped, weathered, my horse hair. It's, uh, it's been interesting. It's been quite, it's the first thing I've done. This is my first costume. This is your first costume? It's the first costume I've done. So why did you decide to go all out and put in all that time? Um, because if you're going to do it, do it right. Go big or go home, right? So I figured why not? Let's just really go for it. And uh, yeah, and I'm hooked. I'm going to be doing this quite a bit. Within a month, order this, express shipping, pay extra for custom sizing, and then it took forever to get in. This gun took me about three weeks to make. Uh, only because the glue didn't dry. I made a little bit of a mistake. Uh, the shoulder pad only took me like two days. And so I know you said there was a little bit of, of a hiccup to get the costume. Oh, yeah. uh, was it worth it? Definitely. I've worn this, I got this last year for last year's Fan Expo, and my friends really liked it, and a lot of people really liked it, so I was told to wear it again this year. It's so much work to get into, especially with the painting. Like, I can't do this alone, especially there's a tattoo on my back. It's a bit hard. The tattoos go on with water. The body paint comes off with water. Tattoos go on after the paint. It doesn't work out so well.